my name is Tiffany and I'm studying chemical engineering here at UCSD. I always wanted to go abroad ever since coming to college, but my freshman year, I didn't really know where I wanted to go abroad. And so I headed into the office there and I was so proud of myself that I actually made an appointment, got there, and I was like, wow, this is real. And then they asked me, so where do you want to go abroad? I'm like, I don't know. And that's literally all the progress I made my entire freshman year. But coming into sophomore year, I realized the best thing about engineering is that it really narrows down your choices for better or for worse. New Zealand was one of them and I thought that it'd be really cool since I was like Lord of the Rings and the scenery was gorgeous and I wanted to be in a place where it's like your settings were right out of the story. I had a solid group of nine friends that I went around doing road trips with, so exploring New Zealand and we called ourselves the Fellowship. <laughs> Because we were in New Zealand, like what do you expect? <laughs> yeah, it was really fun because um, just there were people from all over the place. So like Hong Kong, Germany, Japan. I didn't realize how diverse our group was until we were on this hike in a national park. And there's this caution sign saying like, oh, slippery, don't touch and all that. And there was, we had someone in our group who could read every single language, like one person representing each language on that. My advice is to start early. Like freshman year is probably the best time to think about options to study abroad because you have to think almost a year in advance. And with engineering, it takes more time to petition and make sure that you will get credit and be on track to graduate. Yeah, I'm pretty glad that I'm an engineer and I managed to study abroad because it was just a really empowering thing for me. The whole process of applying to study abroad, it was there were many obstacles along the way, but I felt like when I arrived in New Zealand, I was totally prepared to make the most out of it. Like I had everything ready, like all the logistics, and it was just like, yeah, I'm finally here. Like it took me a full year to get here, but I really like just made the most of it out of it.